Oh, and look at this. I see an osprey right here. I'm actually outside right now. A house sparrow just, or um, I'm, I didn't mean to say house sparrow. I meant to say osprey. An osprey just landed on there, and I'm filming it right now on my camera. But yeah, I, I always go out, like on my days off, to film ospreys because they're birds of prey, and I'm always into all birds of prey, not just hawks. But anyways, going into what I was saying about the, the crows. Yeah, I've, I've noticed if I put meat out, they'll go for it right away. That's the first thing they'll go for. Once the chicken is gone, then it'll go for the next best food item, which is most likely going to be the popcorn because that's what I put the second most amount of outside. So quantity is always very important, how much you put out, because... The less of something you put out, the less likely that they'll come. Like if you put like 10 pounds of meat out, I kid you not, the whole yard was black. All that black was all crows. There were over a hundred crows in my backyard feasting on that meat. Wow. That's crazy, huh? So yeah, and I had the same thing happen with starlings too. Like I would put like a few pounds of meat out and there'd be like 20 30 starlings all grouped together yeah you know, they're all they're all crowded together all eating from the same chicken you all wow. eating from the same meat and it would disappear in less than an hour like wow. it would be gone like I would come back outside everything was gone like wow. all the food like the popcorn the vegetables the the chicken, everything. I even wow. put cupcakes out one time. It was eaten. It was all eaten. <laughs> everything. But I remember the very first time I put cupcakes out, no birds ever came. <laughs> I put out just cupcakes and that's it. And it just stayed there for the longest time. Well, listen, I'm going to pretty soon make myself some dinner. But I want you to stay in touch with me and feel free to call me anytime you want. And I'll and we're going to keep up our relationship. I'm going to try to get him on film. Of course. Yep. Anytime. All right. Send I'll let you go. Post it. Post it. Send me that link. Yeah. Don't worry. And the, the, YouTube, the YouTube channel of my uh, bird feeding channel, I'll send you that too. Send me that. Okay. Thanks, Jeremy. All right. Until call next time. time. I'll see ya. All right, All take right, care. Bye, bye. Bye bye. All right, so that was a YouTube user named Kukla. If you want to visit that channel, all you have to do is just type in Kukla and Rufus Red Tailed Hawk, and then you'll find out her channel, okay? So I wanted to post that on there because I figured. <coughs> I figured that you learn a little bit about someone. Yeah, but this person he has a red-tailed hawk that actually comes to her balcony and eats raw chicken that she puts out for, for him, which is very, very cool. But you know what's just as cool as this osprey right here that I'm able to get a close-up of? Yeah, this osprey weren't here before, but now he's there. crap well there's the osprey right there Very beautiful osprey. Although there are mosquitoes flying now as it's starting to get dark and as you know when it gets dark mosquitoes it's mosquito haven. Get away mosquitoes get away from me.
Yeah, seems to help a little bit. Yeah, so let me record this osprey. So I believe this is the male because he's not in the nest.
Hmm. Thanks for hanging out with me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
I accidentally forgot that it had stopped recording. <laughs> go figure. All right, so here we go again. I don't know how many minutes I've lost of the footage. But here is the Osprey again. <laughs> mhm. Mm yeah, it looks like my Oh no, I'm starting to lose focus. Uh oh whoa. Alright, gotta zoom out. There we go. Okay, so yeah, so what's gonna happen is as it starts getting darker, I'm gonna start losing focus. Did I talk too loud? I think I may have. <laughs> sorry. So sorry. Oh, don't we? Oh, good, okay. Oh, he's still preening. That's great. <laughs>
starting to lose focus again. I can actually tell because my camera starts making sounds when I start losing focus. There you go, you still see the osprey. Ooh. Uh oh. Still losing focus. Yeah, as you can see, I just have to keep zooming out every time this loses focus. Yeah, at this point, um,. Not even going to be able to see this osprey. I just heard something. I thought maybe that was the other osprey, but I guess not. Uh, still losing focus. Yeah, I think I'll call it a night. Because this camera is just not capable of uh, keeping focus in dark light. Huh. Hi. Hmm. Hi there. Oh well, uh, yeah, my grandma's over there. Yeah. What's eight o'clock, man? Uh, I was filming Osprey. It's still there right now. What's that? I was just filming Osprey before they roosted for the night. I know, but they got turkey, man. For everybody and anybody. Unfortunately, fortunately, there's a stupid curfew here, so I have to go. Yeah, stupid rules. Yeah, I have no choice. Well, this osprey will be here again, so it's really no big deal. All right, so this is it. I mean, not like there's really much to see anyways from this osprey. It's just standing there preening after all. So, I'm going to zoom out.
and this is it. All right, until next time, I'll see ya. I mean, it's just gonna get end up getting darker later, so. And this curfew is gonna be going on as long as this stupid coronavirus thing is going around, so. I'm sure this Osprey will still be here in May and June, July. All right, I'm gonna cut it off here. Until next time. Until the next Osprey video or whatever other hawk video I decide to post. See ya later.